Hi friend, today I am going to discuss about radio bearer, SRV, DRV, EREV, EPS bearer. But uh, we start from radio bearer. We need to understand what is radio bearer and where we can uh, find radio bearer issue uh, and uh, DRV, EREV, EPS uh, bearer issue. So we have sometimes uh, confusion where we need to check in uh, level it's a UV log level or E node B and core level. So sometimes we have confusion uh, somebody checking uh, UV side uh, in E rev stability. So today decided to we will discuss about uh, basic uh, thing basic concept of radio bearer i will uh, discuss uh, in next video in details but here we will uh, discuss basic concept because we uh, we need to go in the next level we should uh, clear the concept uh, uh, a small a small concept that's why nowadays i am describe and discuss about uh, a small a small uh, point so yeah uh, yeah radio bearer but uh, firstly we need to understand what is radio bearer radio bearer is a, a connection between ev and e node b if if anything wants to uh, transfer between ev and e node b before any message before, before transfer any message we need to uh, one connection one like a one pipeline uh, for uh, resource need to communicate and transfer and receive so it's established one connection is called radio bearer radio bearer is established between the uv and e node b uh, and e radio bearer is the two types SRB and DRB. SRB and DRB. Uh, when SRB use and when DRB use, it's a uh, one question. SRB is used for the signaling purpose. When EV wants to uh, communicate uh, to the E node, B wants to uh, send RRC connection request and uh, yeah, res. So sorry, uh, not res. Um, in RRC and RRC connection, reestable any uh, signal related uh, or NAS messages wants to transfer that time using SRV signal bearer. And when after signal radio bearer and EDAV is established, then if you uh, want to uh, transfer your user data that time using DRB, and DRB is the connection established between uv and e node v i think uh, you can understand what is srb drb and this is the connection between uv and e node v next uh, we uh, discuss about uh, what e rev e rev in e rev have uh, many person have confusion about e rev what is e rev so uh, we can understand already we uh, we have un understood about uh, srb and drb next uh, if we connection established between ev uh, ev and e node b after connection established between ev and e node b uh, e node b try to connection be between uh, e node b and s gateway for the ev so if connection is established between the e node b and uh, s gateway so it's called s1 bearer and uh, e node b and uh, s gateway uh, yeah connection between established with the help of emme because e node b send uh, a piggyback uh, messages through the E node B and E node B send uh, S gateway to need uh, bearer established after that uh, uh, S1 bearer uh, will be established when 
uh, S1 BRR is established between E node B and S gateway. So after yeah, E rep is SRB and uh, yeah, S1 BRR radio BRR plus uh, R1 S1 BRR is established. That means E rep established and E rep established. Uh, it's initiated initiated we can see here uh, in this message after RRC com e, e node B receive RRC setup complete message then E node B initiate uh, initial uh, UV message to the MME then MME initiate E rep attempt after that again uh, E node B send uh, initial context setup message to the MME. That means, uh, yeah, EREP. So, EREP connection is established at the uh, e, e node B. At the E node B. So, if we uh, want to analyze EREP uh, setup uh, regarding anything issue, so we need to check. Uh, e node B sites. So we need, if we uh, search in EV log, we can't found, but uh, we can think that if uh, DRB is established after data is connection, that means EDIB is already established. That's why we can transfer our data. If uh, connection is established, that means we can understand that uh, we can, but we not. Uh, find uh, correct uh, way. So, if we want to uh, analyze EREP, uh, so we need to check at the E node B site. So, again, I think you can understand EREP, what is EREP. And second, uh, is yeah, uh, again, uh, connection is already established between uh, UV an E node B and S gateway and but uh, data is not established yet because a P gateway is providing uh, yeah, connection for external so after uh, EREB is established S gateway try to communicate between uh, P gateway packet data gateway so here it's a P gateway P gateway, P gateway. Then, if the connection is established between S gateway and P gateway, it's called S1, uh, S5, or S8 BRR. When uh, roaming is used, then S8, and if it normally, then S5 BRR is used. So, if the connection is established between a serving gateway P, uh, and packet gateway, it's called and the if UV is connect now connected between P gateway through the E node B uh, S gateway, so data is after uh, connection is data is flow. So e, e, EPS bearer, it's if we connection uh, between all. So EPS bearer is equal to uh, EREP plus S5 S5 S8 bearer. So, if all between UV is established between E node B and S gateway, BRR is S1 BRR established and S5 S8 is established, that means EPS BRR is established and after uh, that communication is start between uh, two user and uh, server and user. So, I think you can understand uh, right now. I will come with uh, yeah log analysis. Uh, so thank you.